Hey guys, welcome back. We're gonna be doing a 20 minute full body strength workout today. So we are gonna be using some dumbbells. If you don't have dumbbells, you can use some cans, you can use some heavy drink bottles, whatever you've got. I'm a bit of a weakling, so I'm gonna be using a three kilo dumbbells. But if you wanna go heavy, you can. If you wanna go lighter, you can as well. It's gonna be 20 minutes in total. 10 exercises through. Each exercise goes for a minute. There's no rest, so you just rest as you need. Once you've done one round, you'll do a second round and then that is it. As long as you've got your dumbbells, let's get started. So we have 10 exercises in total. You do one set and then you repeat. That is it, super duper simple. So let's grab our dumbbells. The first exercise we're doing is a bicep curl into an overhead press. Alrighty, let's go one minute on the clock. Bicep curl, press it up, bring it down. So we're gonna go for a hammer curl for this one, just so it's a little bit easier to get into the shoulders. Whenever you do an overhead press, you never want your elbows directly in line with your shoulders, so all the way back. That puts a lot of pressure into the joint. You wanna make sure that your elbow is on the angle slightly forward. Oh my God, that's a good look at. As you reach up overhead, keep those shoulders down. Don't let the neck disappear. Soft bend in the knees, weight down into the feet. Core is braced. Four seconds, then we're gonna move on to the legs. All right, feet underneath those hips slash shoulders. We're gonna push our hips back behind a suitcase squat. So pretending we're picking up two suitcases, squeeze all the way up. So we are pushing the hips behind us, pretending that a rope has gone around our hips. They've pulled us back, shoulders, chest is dropping forward slightly. But we're keeping the shoulders pulling back so the spine stays long. Knees are pressing out over your third toe. Deep breath in on the way down. Breathing out on the way up. Twenty seconds. As you get tired, you may find this is starting to happen. You have to keep your back engaged the entire time. And if you're struggling to get down, just reduce your range of motion. If you're feeling like this isn't hard enough, move a bit quicker, start spiking the heart rate. Beautiful, all right, so you're gonna pop one of your dumbbells down. Well, I'm gonna pop my right leg behind me, left leg forward, stiff legs. We're gonna push the hips back for a single leg RDL. So we're pushing the hips back, single leg RDL. You're gonna hold it at the bottom here with the tension on the um, hamstring. You're gonna single arm row the hand back to the hip, place the hand down, squeeze the hips up and under. So you'll notice that the angle of my knees doesn't actually change. And all I'm doing is pushing my hips back and forth. Push the hips right back, same concept as those squats, like somebody's put a rope around your hips. Push it back, Good. Good work. To be honest, I probably could have gone a little bit heavier, but exercise number three. You know to go. Belly is great to protect that lower back. Ooh, good. All right, single arm swings now. So umbrella is going to hold here. I have one hand across my chest. We're going to ooh, set the feet a little bit closer. We're going to swing the hand back and up, back and up. I'm going to face this way. Hinge the hip back. Swing it up. Getting that heart rate up a little bit. Back of the fist is facing ouch to the side and make sure you don't hit your knee just like I did. Like it's not too heavy of a dumbbell. We're gonna pick up both dumbbells after this. Almost there, keeping those heels on the floor, weight going through those heels as you go back. All right, we're going for a thrusty heel, so dumbbells up to the shoulders. Feet on the side, so you can see. 
Be roughly shoulders width apart. You're going to get down into your deep squat, deep breath in. Breathe out, press your hands up overhead. Dumbbells to the shoulder. Pressing up. Now you can go as slow or as fast as you like. I'm going to take it slow because I like to talk through this. Making sure, same squatting technique, knees pressing out over your third toe. Weight back in the heels, pushing those hips back behind you. Breath in, breathing out. And you can rest as you need. You do not have to flow for the whole minute. You can have a moment just like I am now. Deep breath in, breathing out. I'm gonna get one more in. Ooh, all right, standing back in the same position, I'm gonna step my right foot back again. I'm gonna come down into my lunge, down into my 90-90 lunge. I'm gonna go for a bicep curl. And then I'm gonna stretch my legs up. If you are feeling like you've got some good balance, you're gonna step the foot in instead. If you don't, I would plant the foot back there for a split squat. But if you're feeling good, you're gonna step it back in for a reverse lunge. Making sure that your knees stay parallel so you're not rolling in or out. Legs look like they're on train tracks. We're going to come down to the floor. Three, two, and coming down to the floor. We're going to get rid of one of our dumbbells. You're going to place your dumbbell on the left side of your mat, hands underneath your shoulders. Option one, you are up on your toes for the hardest version, dumbbell pull throughs. Pulling the dumbbell from one side to the other, feet set nice and wide to stabilize those hips. Option two, knees are inclined further away, dragging that dumbbell across, feeling the oblique and the core stabilize you. Option three, knees are directly underneath your hips, repeating the same process. So the more the knees are underneath the hips, the more support you have, further away, harder this becomes. On the toes is the hardest version, so you work out what you want to do. Maybe you want to do a few reps of each, see how you feel. Oops. Goal is to keep the shoulders and the hips steady. Ooh. All right, down in the back now. I might be a bit too close to the wall for this. Let's see how we go. Might angle myself out a little. Okay, so. Soft bend in the elbows. We're going for a pec fly, opening up the arms. Soft W shape in those arms. Squeeze the hands in. You're then going to send your hands overhead. Skull crusher. Squeeze up. Keep that soft bend though. Open pec fly. Squeeze in. Overhead. Skull crusher. You should feel those pecs pretty darn quickly. Right of the edge here. Not too bad. Keeping that pelvis neutral. Alright, you either can hold onto both dumbbells or just one. Up to you, I'm going to hold onto one for this one. Deep breath in as you breathe out. You're going to curl yourself up to a seated position. Sit nice and tall. Roll back, come all the way down. Your goal is to use as little momentum as possible. Curling up and down, using the strength of your six pack muscles, your rectus abdominis. I do not know how my head looks right now. Whew. Halfway. If you're finding it's too much again, Get rid of the dumbbell, you can have your hands behind, or throw yourself. Do what you gotta do to make sure you can get up and down. But your goal is to do it slow and control with the weight. Making it a little bit more challenging. Whew. Sitting up nice and tall, definitely have this one dumbbell now. 
You're gonna rock off your sit bones here on the squishy part of your butt. Russian twist, twist. Taking it slow, acting like you're bringing out the torso like it's a cloth. Again, if you're finding this too challenging with a dumbbell, hands you're gonna go for instead. If it's still too much, you're gonna give me one rep, lean back one rep, sit up. Lean back other rep. Sit up if you're feeling good though. Just twist it out, keeping that lower belly pulling in so the back doesn't take on the load here. Good, 15 to go. You're really trying to get that dumbbell all the way up and over so you're wringing out your torso properly, not cutting it short. We're gonna stand up in two, and one. Ooh. No rest here, let's stand all the way up. Grab your dumbbells, back to the top. So, we have our bicep curls. Standing up, bicep curl, overhead press, bring it down and lower. Bicep, press. Remembering those elbows come out on an angle, they don't come all the way back in line with the shoulders. Knees have a soft bend them. Pelvis is tucking gently under. The back isn't swaying and taking a low here. Core is engaged. Breathing out on the way up. And in on the way down. Stay tall in the spine, work in your posture. Don't let the chin drop. Lift. Everything is bracing and still. The only thing that should be moving is the arms. Good, let's go into those suitcase squats. So, feet roughly shoulder distance apart, feet hip distance apart, depending on your width there. Let's do that. As long as the hands can trace on the outside, you're picking up those imaginary suitcases. Knees pressing out, lift the arches of the feet. Don't let the shoulders round, keep them nice and long. And think about sending your hands just to the outsides of the feet, no further forward. So basically, trace along the legs, going straight up and down. Acting like you're picking up a really heavy load straight from the ground, that'll help. Ooh, we have the other side for that single leg RDL with that row. All right. Left foot behind this time, right foot forward. Soft bend in those knees. Push the hips back. Hand should be roughly where the foot is. Row the hand back, bring it in. Squeeze the hips up and under. Remember to keep that stiff leg the whole way. Push back. Feeling it in that right hamstring. Keeping a flat back the entire time. Core is lifting to protect that lower back. And send your weight into that right heel to help engage the back of the leg. Sending that hand back towards the hip, feeling the shoulder blade pull across to the spine. You're so close. Single arm swing, so remember, don't set your feet too close together for this one, hip distance apart. You're gonna, oh my face is like, you're gonna swing the arm back. And up, back, and up. <sighs> Keeping the shoulders and the hips square, it's gonna wanna roll that left shoulder back, making sure you're keeping them even. Remember hinging, hinging the hips back, spine stays long. Fifteen. We have our thrusters next. Okay. Two. And one. Grab your dumbbells. 
set your feet roughly shoulder distance apart, hands up on your shoulders. Stick the glutes back behind you, get down into your deep squat. Breathe out, use the power from your legs to press the arms overhead. Dumbbells back down. Deep breath in. If you're feeling good, just flow through. If not, slow it down, break it down. Have a little rest in between each set. Good. Keep going. Pushing those knees out over the third toes. Making sure as you lower down your chest, chest isn't dropping. Your shins and your chest should be at the same angle. Oh. All right, reverse lunge. Right foot forward, left foot back. Option one, split squat, lunge, stretch both legs. This is better if you have a little bit of trouble with balance. If you are feeling good on your way up, you are gonna step your back foot in, powering through that left leg. Step it back, controlling it back. Breathe out, stand all the way up. Make sure your feet look like they're on train tracks. As you step back, you keep your foot in exactly the same line. You do not step behind the front foot. If you do, you're gonna struggle to balance. And try to get nice and deep. Getting that back knee underneath your hip. Not far. I'm starting to sweat. And oh, straight down to the floor. Getting rid of one of your dumbbells. Remembering you can be on your toes, knees, wherever you feel like is best. Drag the dumbbell across, swap hand. Drag and swap. Remember kneeling option. Knees are further away. More support. The knees are underneath your hips and you keep your shoulders and hips super duper still. If you're engaging your core correctly, you will feel it here. I feel it here. Anyway, back on the toes if you can. Let's swap sides, keeping the back as flat as possible. I can't see the timer from here. Dumbbell keeps rolling. You've got this, keep moving. Ooh. All right, laying down on your backs now. I'm gonna angle myself sitting at the wall, soft bending the elbows. We have a pec fly, open, squeeze. Overhead for a skull crusher, keep those elbows tight, don't let them flare out. Squeeze up, but keep that soft bend so you can go straight back into your pet fly. Making sure your spine isn't arching away from the mat. Core is engaged. And we're keeping that angle of the elbow. Elbow and hands stay in line. Make sure the hands don't drop back or they don't lift up and the elbows drop. We keep the same angle and we just think move from the shoulder socket. Oh, under 10 seconds. Keep going, guys. Ooh, okay, one or two dumbbells, or no dumbbells, up to you. Sit-ups, deep breath in, rolling up, Ooh, nice and tall. Tuck the pelvis under, roll all the way back. And again, rolling up. Back Taking your time, less reps, but good quality reps and trying to not throw yourself up or more importantly, collapse to the floor. You wanna make sure you're controlling it down even if you have to throw yourself up a little bit. That means taking it even slower. Really articulating through the spine, tucking the tail but under tucking the chin in towards the chest. Less than 10. One final exercise. 
Oh, we're there. God, I keep losing track. All right, lean back. Twist that dumbbell for those Russian twists. Remembering if you don't feel good with that dumbbell, hands instead. Trying to get that full range of motion. If you're feeling extra, extra good like, this is way too easy. Put both your legs up to tabletop and try to balance here at the same time. Ooh. I'm gonna place my feet on the floor for a bit. And then the last 10, I'm gonna have them up. Bringing out that torso like a cloth, scooping in the lower belly to protect that back. Chin tucked in slightly. All right, 10 seconds to go. Ooh, picking up the pace a little bit if you can. Four. And ooh. die. Well done, guys. I hope you enjoyed that strength workout. It was something a little bit different today. As always, make sure you subscribe if you enjoyed this. Like and comment on this video if you'd like to see more of this or anything else you'd like to see. And make sure you follow me on you know, Instagram, TikTok, all those platforms because I'm on all of those. I hope to see you guys soon. Yeah, make sure you do a cool down video. Bye guys. <laughs>